with a big flurry. So um, they're looking like they've got a wee bit of speed around the park and there's a couple of dangerous strike weapons inside their team. And the man taking the centre of the park is none other than Vigo Rasmussen. And a big shout out to Vigo. He's also part of our ARL football development and coaching staff. And uh, great to see Vigo down here today taking the centre with a whistle. All of the referees here today are sponsored by Crown Lift Trucks as well. Corey? Big weekend for Vigo last weekend. Had a line up in uh, Whangarei for the New Zealand Warriors trial against the West Tigers. The latest of our Auckland referees to go through and graduate into that NRL system. And uh, we'll hopefully get a few more appointments throughout the year as well. Got to referee with Gavin Badger, which uh, a real thrill for match officials. He's one of the best, Gavin Badger. And uh, no doubt Vigo would have really enjoyed that experience. As we wait now for the kickoff here in Orbe Hibiscus Coast to get us underway, Vigo Rasmussen is assisted by Jackson McCowan and Kevin Arkin in this game. They are his touchies. And away we go. Game three of the live stream schedule and a dodgy old start for Manurewa, but it is scooped up and uh, disaster averted. Tackle 10 out from the line. Manurewa back in the big time for the first time in many, many years. Runners up in the Shaman Cup competition last year. And they will be in the SAS Fox Premiership qualifiers to start 2019. Good opportunity for them to make a statement today here at the SportsSafe ARL 9s. Here's a carry forward from Nathan Simmons and a quick play the ball off the back of it as well Hebden gets there and then hands off to Mariota Mariota who has tackled smack bam on halfway centralized now Simmons goes out to the back door and taking the ground is the 16 Buchanan Rafiti and that will kill the play so Nathan Ash now who was super influential in that first game he plays the ball to Corey Craig, another one who was heavily involved for Hibiscus Coast in their opening victory. Bumping the ball forward now and playing at the line. This is Regan McLennan, who was tackled down on halfway. Hickey to Ash. Ash goes out the back door to Mills, and Mills takes a couple to bring him down. Five metres inside the attacking half. Back to the middle they come, where Ash will play in Buck Hall, and Buck Hall tucks it under the wing, goes to ground, does well to hold on to it in the end, and Simmons comes in to finish the job off. Hickey looking to his left, and said he'll go right. This is Ash, who will take it to the line now. Ash shakes out a one. Nathan right, Ash, a little chip over the top. He gets obstructed on the way. And back to clean up. Well, he didn't really clean up because the ball comes loose, and Matthew Oakley has knocked it on there, and this should be a Hibiscus Coast ball. Ten metres out from the line. Ash is proving extremely dangerous. He's having a good uh, tournament thus far. Big shout out from Dan at the Hornets getting Texas through. They're enjoying the live streaming along with Brian O'Shea. And hopefully you can hear me a wee bit louder now, Brian. Yeah, and a, a shout out to Dan. Was going to wait for the first uh, Howard game for this. But uh, Dan in hospital recovering from surgery today. He would have loved to have been here. So a big shout out to you, Dan. And on behalf of the uh, live stream team, wishing you a very speedy recovery, mate. And we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks time as the premiership season gets underway yeah come on dan get up walk it off <laughs> so as we were uh, giving dan the shout out there a ball spilt by hibiscus which means we would get let off the hook the rain really coming down hard here now and as a result we see a second error there although that's going to be a penalty rasmussen points to the spot and uh, rafiti will now kick for touch and it's a good one off the boot as well choose off plenty of yardage and safely into touch so Rewa now with their first attacking opportunity of the game they will start this set 45 out from the line Mariota with the tap and he will go gets to play the ball beautiful little offload out the back Oakley a little bit of footwork steps back inside got numbers here now like what I'm seeing from Manurewa looking very enthusiastic on the footy Mataora is the dummy half he goes to Simmons Simmons shuffles play on to Ariiti. Ten out from the line. Options left and right. It's the latter they will go. Simmons to the line. Bumps the ball forward. It gets rocked out by a hard tackle from Hibiscus Coast. 
And uh, they will now turn the ball over. There'll be no advantage there. I wouldn't think this should be a Hibiscus Coast ball, but, well, an entertaining little game we've got going on here so far as we see uh, ARL chairman Shane Price in his raincoat out in the elements down here to watch some footy today. Big shout-out to the Auckland Rugby League Board of Directors for their continued support of the live stream initiative as well. So I think we're going to end up with a Hibiscus Coast feed here at the end of all that. We don't have the... Ref audio in our ears today, so I do apologise if I'm not picking up on that. You may be able to hear it at home. Oh, Vigo will tell us all about it on Monday. Try that one as we set the scrum. I haven't seen too many of these um, in the first couple of games. So Ash with the feed. It's a one-out run early on here for Hibiscus Coast. This is Regan McLennan, fresh off a stint with the Canberra Raiders in the SG Ball competition. Look at Nathan Ash. Again breaking that first tackle. He really is the kind of prototype nines player at this level. Can do it all. Carries the ball in both hands and a constant threat and attack. They will settle now through Mills, who has been heavily involved in the opening exchanges. Hickey looks to clear the ruck and does so. McLennan now takes the ball to the line. Hands off to Buck Hall. Hall. Just with the offload in the back of the mind there, but he's wrestled to ground just on halfway. McLennan rushes the dummy half. Mill all here. Five and a half minutes gone as Mills centralizes. Last tackle coming up, and do they look to the skies? Maybe look to force an error from this Manuelo side. Ash, he's got other ideas. We'll run the ball. Dinks a little kick in over the top. The chase is good, but he's offside. And uh, back we will come to restart play once again. But boy, this has been an entertaining game. End-to-end -end stuff here, and although there have been a number of errors, it's been fairly high-quality footy that we have seen so far. Good, strong wrestle too. You know, they've gone up and down the park. It's not just being played in one part of the uh, field. And a couple of subs just taking place there on the Marlins team, Corey. As they kick for touch, looking for the finder, and that's not bad. So Hibiscus Coast marched backwards. Yeah, Buchanan Rafferty, he's got a lovely boot on him and again gets them into attacking territory. Mariotto will restart play. Looking for Oakley again, and that is a replica of the play they did earlier, and Oakley will pin the ears back. Just slipped Had over. one to beat, and as you mentioned, just slipped over, although we're going to go back here, foot into touch, I think, the call. Yeah, perhaps a forward pass, so... Play the ball now, Hibiscus Coast to get us back underway from Joshua Waratini. Yeah, he's called the 16-2 from the linesman, so Rasmus has gone offside, buddy, and they get another restart with a penalty. Good call from the linesman. And it's great for the uh, refs as well, eh? the preseason tournaments to get them warmed up for the season ahead, and that's not a bad kick, Corey. Yeah, absolutely, and our match officials making the most of the hit out today can get a number of games under their belts and perhaps build some combinations with their touchies as well ahead of the premiership season kicking off. So back into it we go, and this is Watateni, who will just take a settler and almost got tipped into an uncomfortable position there, but all good and put down safely in the end. A little bit of footwork at the line now. Breaks out a one, breaks out a two. That's a really good carry forward there from... The 18, Akawola George. Out the back they go. It's sloppy messy. from Hibiscus. Buck Hall picks it up. Now they got numbers. Teal with a little bit of footwork. Ducks dives and then gets ragdolled. Gets the offload back in the field of play, but it's recovered by Manurea, where he probably had to offload that there, otherwise he was likely going into touch. So the play dies Very off. Close, uh, speaking of going into touch, Manurea now will do just that via Valentine Fililuai, a new convert from Maris Rugby. As we enter the final minute here, still looking for our first points of the game. It's been a polar opposite to our opening two live stream matches, which were triathons. But on this one, perhaps the defense of a little higher quality. Jump out now. Buck Hall goes to the line. Hall holding it in two hands. Buck Hall. Will he get there? Held up. Brilliant defense, Manuel Marlins. And uh, Hibiscus will go back and start again. And they'll want to hurry because the clock is ticking on this first half here at Stanmore Bay Reserve. Nil-nil it remains. 
On the team, boys. Over here. Bring it over here, boys. Yep. When you're ready. Time back on. Go. Hall will play the ball. Come to the middle of the park. McLennan reaches high. Siren goes in the background. Teal thinks a little kick in behind. Oakley cleans up and says, I'll run that one dead. And we will go to the shed. So a scoreless first half. Here at the Sports Safe Farrell Nines, I dare say we won't see too many of them today. But a good contest in the brewing here. Very short break before we resume with the second half action. So uh, very fortunate. We're going to pull Shane Price up, the chairman of the Auckland Rugby League, and he's here casting his eye against the uh, football and the action. So Shane will just take a few minutes and uh, congratulations Shane, Chairman of the ARL, mate. How are things going for you so far? Great for the receptive with regards to the, uh, to the Chairmanship. Um, things, small steps, Troy, in regards to it. Um, the game's in good stead, but like anything, we're just going to see as though we're continuously improving. And today is just another one of those uh, reasons why the Auckland Rugby League's improving. We're not afraid to go outside the 13 man game. We're in a niner side. We've got clubs here today that are uh, showing their wares. You know, some of the coaches are giving the young guys a run to see what it is. And the season for some of these guys kicks off in a couple of weeks. So, good testing ground. Uh, as the chair of the ARL, mate, um, you know, I know that um, you've been a fan of the live stream. Uh, what's your vibe around that? And what sort of feedback have you had with, um, you know, how we um, put the product out? I, I think it's, it, it's great for our game in regards to getting it out to the people that can't be here. Um, We've Keep it up, boys, certainly waking up a few of the other codes over the winter period, you know. Rugby, mm, absolutely. Rugby's looking at the uh, live up, streaming. Um, and for us to be the, the pioneer in regards to a major sport code in Auckland is uh, yeah, all goes well for the fact that we want to be the number one code in, in the winter. So in regards to um, our competition, you know, we've had a wee bit of a shake-up for the 2019 with the new format. Let's talk a little bit about that. How do you see that unfolding? Well, like anything, it's around continuous improvement. We have to give the, the clubs an incentive to get into the box. You know what I mean? There's, there's 13 clubs in the Shaman, and now have got a chance. Make that top four, and they're into the Fox Championship. So it's like anything, it's an incentive to improve. And, and we're not seen to be doing that. The clubs are going to be looking to us at ways to improve that. And the format will be great. You know, we're going to get down to the old eight premiership, eight championship, and then eight down into the, the Shaman. So like anything, we're improving, you know, and that's what we've got to be seen to be doing for the clubs and for the game. Awesome, Shane. Congratulations once again on the uh, chair. And, uh, mate, we'll get organised now as we hand back to Corey for the start of the second half. Thank you, Troy. Thank you very much, Troy, and uh, thank you to Shane as well as we prepare to get back underway. It's going to be Manyarewa to kick off in Hibiscus with uh, first use of the footy. Interesting first half. Really hard to get a feel on this one. Both teams had their attacking opportunities but some really good defense which is nice to see at this point of the season such a focus on the work without the ball but i expect we will see some points in this second half as the attack starts to perhaps fine tune a little and we are now back underway hibiscus return the ball and this is via the winger who's been fairly impressive and just as i say that he comes up uh, with the error so there's my first kiss of death for the day kiss of death as you put it troy and uh, Mave Muru Fulimohala puts that one down, and now Rewa will get us back underway. Oakley is the dummy half and will centralise things. This is the captain, Dante Puna. In fact, it may be Belmain Patuwai. Ball comes loose, and no advantage is the call, which means this will be a hibiscus. Rewa here. Ball. 16 on the yeah, about 25 out from the line. Yeah, a little hard to gauge uh, how slippery the ball may may be. They're all new balls today from Steedham. And, um, you know, we've had a bit of rain sort of off and on. So um, a little moisture out there. They'll just have to have a good, strong ball retention as he's carried that up over the halfway. Boy, their outside backs have been busy. Hibiscus getting in and doing the work as Buck Hall now shakes off one. He plays on and Teal now. Goes to the line, shakes out of another. He scored a brilliant individual try in the first half. Is there another in the brewing? Big collision. Great carry forward there from Braika Droka. Hall to the line. Ball is put down and another promising attack dies off there for the Hibiscus Coast. He 
played the soft option, went back inside. So Rewa now up over halfway. Oakley is the dummy half. He goes for a little dart and steps his way out of one and two. Going across field and going a fair way forward as well. But all of a sudden, he's in a little bit of trouble. Gets the offload away. This is Patuai who plays on now. And a chance down the right edge now for Manurewa as they spread this ball to the far well. flank. Rafiti gains possession and they're not far away now. Manurewa still looking for our first points in this game. Patuai will centralise. He will take the tackle. Hickey in over the top. Just in front of the sports safe uprights now. Simmons to the line. A little footwork. He's taken down about three from the line. Now the dart. Very close to the line, but held up brilliantly by Hibiscus Coast. Boy, that is great defense in any form of the game. And as you mentioned, referee Rasmussen on the spot to call it as he sees it. Simmons now will receive from dummy half and play out the back. A cutout ball over the top. Oakley with the kick in behind. Ball is loose. That's going to be play on. Teal picks it up and was smart to do so because the ball was alive at that point and he gets out, runs about seven metres before being taken to ground himself. Well, no tries, but boy, I am enjoying this contest. Both teams showing plenty to like here and... At this stage, you would suggest that these will be two of the better teams we're going to see in action today. Buck Hall now looking to generate a little bit of momentum, but tackled really well, as Troy points out. That time it's uh, Genesis Masangao. Regan McLennan, the show, the go, breaks out of one, takes them up to just short of halfway. Hickey is now the hooker. He's got Buck Hall on his shoulder. He won't use him. Hickey will show and then go back through the middle of the park. And now Nathan Ash looming in support. And Hibiscus Coast get on the board. Lovely rugby league. And Nathan Ash collects the try there, but put it down to the brilliance of Jesse Hickey. Great dummy half play. Troy will talk us through the replay as Hibiscus Coast take the lead. Yeah, well, he managed to get back to his feet there. The defenders climbed all over him, wrestled him to the ground. Quick play the ball. Broke out of the dummy half. Nice little dart. And by now, Marlins are hanging off them. He had options left and right. And there's our man, Ash, and he's just been absolutely smoking today. Been dangerous with ball in hand. He's created a number of opportunities, and he's also interested in how good he is at finishing. And the kick is good, which means the Raiders lead six points to nil. Thirteen and a half gone here. The Raiders certainly enjoy playing at the uh, home tournament here at the... Stanmore Bay, you know, they've always um, put up a good side. They've always been quick, fast around the fast around the um, the field. And um, proven a handful for a number of teams today. Yeah, and it's a tough place to come and play, isn't it, Troy? And we see that at premiership level as well. They always get great support from their crew down here at Stanmore Bay Reserve and it's no different for the Nines. So does the Raiders with the initial advantage but you get the feeling Rewa have got points in them. Can they get things going? This is Hemi Clay, the former Manurewa Reserves captain. Simmons. Shifts play on. There's space down the left edge here now and wisely heads back in field as Corey Hebden still stepping his way through. Breaks out of the tackle of Mills and eventually taking the ground. 45 off his own line. Simmons is the dummy half. He's featured heavily for Manurewa so far. Patuai. This seems to be a little bit of intent creeping into the game now. And that might be a little bit of frustration showing. Simmons to Oakley. Oakley plays at the line, brings Rafiti into the action, and he bumps out of a couple, ends up 30 metres out from the line. Manurewa looking to draw even after this game sat at nil all for so long. Here's Clay, dumped to ground on a brilliant tackle by Mills and Liafa. Simmons, plays short at the line now, brings Oakley into it. They've got numbers here, Rewa. Oakley, should he have passed? No, he shouldn't have. He breaks out of it, and Matthew Oakley gets Manurewa on the board. He's happy with that one too. 6-4, kick to come. We've got a game on our hands. Sports Safe Action Replay. You can see there's a wee bit of gesturing here coming to the left side of the field. We look to shift it. Nice little off the shoulder 
hit the ball really, really well with the run here. And as Corey said, you know, looked like it may have needed to offload there, but the tackle was just ineffective. And that's probably the only mistake we've seen Ash do today for the Hibiscus Raiders. And let the winger get away. Nice little try. And had we go on the kick, mate. Kick is good. So we have a tied ball game. A nice attempt there from Buchanan Rafferty. And we are all locked up with less than three minutes to go. Remembering these are nine-minute halves here for the Sports Safe RL Nines. Reasonable time is the call from uh, referee Rasmussen, and it's a fair one as well because some of the Reba boys blowing a little hard here. Now Rafiti will get us back underway. Need to be careful not to be offside on that kick, and then kick. drills him to touch. That is clever, clever play. And uh, Manurewa now will get the ball back. So we're into the last two and a half minutes here at Stanmore Bay Reserve. Manurewa looking for points, which could well end up being the match deciding points at this stage of the game. And what shapes is a, a crunch clash in this pool. Clay out of dummy half. That's no nonsense. Tucks it under the wing and says, try and take me down, boys. And they eventually do so. Two minutes to play. We are locked at 6-6 now. Ariaiti. To the line, hard and straight. McLennan is in over the top to try and finish it off. Hebden now joins in on the attack. He's got Simmons on his left shoulder. Hebden shakes out a one, shakes out a two. Still crawling, looking to gain every last meter he can. They clear the ruck. There's a try on here. If they're good enough, Manurewa, did that ball get grounded? Yes, it did. Manurewa are in again. Back-to-back -back tries for the Marlins, and they take the lead with less than two minutes to play here at Stanmore Bay Reserve. They certainly showed a lot of intent after they scored the first try, got a bit of urgency up, showing a lot of strength here inside, stool attacking. Just managed to clip his ankle, tried to get up again, look for a quick play of the ball here, and just darts from dummy half, step. Thought that one player was offside, and he managed to get the ball down nice, stole that try. And Marlins, as you said, Corey, you know, get the points on the board. And the hooter has gone in the background. Kick is good. Kick is good. The full-time siren has sounded, and Manurewa have come from behind to earn a 12-6 victory over the Hibiscus Coast Raiders. Really good performance from the Marlins there, and they pick up the victory in this one. A few minutes break now before we are back with the action for the next game. So just as the uh, teams are getting ready for the next round of play, Matt Spick, the CEO, Director of SportSafe New Zealand, is with us. And uh, Matt, this is your first time down here to the SportSafe Nines. What do you think so far? Oh, it's pretty well, um, pretty well laid out and very well run, Troy. It's a shame the weather hasn't played the game, but um, there's a lot of people around. It's really great to see them out here watching the action. Really impressed. So I know you've got a, a wee bit of uh, official duties to do towards the end of the day with um, presentations and what have you, but um, out of the first lot of few games that you've had a look at, you know, who's impressed you so far? Oh, I've got to be honest, uh, I was quite impressed with that Marlins, which we just said, because um, they came from behind. It looked like cruel odds that they were going to go down on that one, but um, they managed to pull it back with some good play. It was really impressive. And I know during the uh, time that we had uh, an interview at the ARL studios, um, you know, I asked you about... Um, who was your rugby league team? Uh, let's have a chat around that. Yeah. Well, I think, like, literally, like I said, um, we always support the local team. So in the in the NRL, it's the Warriors, obviously. Um, I haven't had a great exposure to rugby league. I've got to be honest about that. And um, today is a, is a great, um, well, let's call it a grassroots, but it's not really, is it? It's upper level sort of rugby league for me. Um, it's kind of reinforced. To be honest, I've been quite a... Um, couch spectator over the years for a lot of sports and this is just a nice reminder to get out amongst it and um, you do miss a lot when you're watching from the TV so yeah it's, it's good and um, I don't really have any favourites to choose from but uh, it's really great to see the action. And in regards to SportsSafe, uh, their services mate, just very quickly you know what are some of the services that SportsSafe can provide a rugby league club? Um, yeah so basically we, we can make